congratulations to Donald Trump. He is our new President of the United States of America. Now, in this video, guys, we're going to talk about why I presume Donald Trump won and what cost Hillary to win the election. To be honest, my personal opinion is, is that Hillary lost this election due to her scams with the emails, with the WikiLeaks documentation, and with all the information that came out regarding corruption. That's what cost Hillary the, the election, and, and I think it was a movement by most Americans who are just generally fed up with the way things are at the moment, who wanted to go through and want to change. They want to send a powerful message to Hillary Clinton and to the one percenters to say that corruption will no longer be tolerated, that we have a voice and we will use it. Um, if I am correct in that assumption, then I am extremely proud um, to the fact that everybody is actually standing up and, and taking account for, for the actions of a few. Long gone are the days where people can stand there with corruption and, and, and blackmail and tyranny and, and force their agenda on everybody else. Um, as the saying goes, that people should not be afraid of their governments, people, the government should be afraid of their people. Now, of course, there will always be the people that wanted to vote for Trump because they believe his views, um, or those who did want to vote for him because they support the party that he represents. But I do feel that there also was a large portion of people who did vote for Trump because he was the better choice between Hillary Clinton and Donald Trump. Um, everybody was a little bit afraid of maybe Hillary Clinton with her email scams, the, the Benghazi incident, the, uh, the her wanting to put a night flow zone over Syria. I think a lot of people sort of were forced to vote for Trump due to the fact that Hillary Clinton was an undesirable choice um, and while there are third parties obviously people like Jill Stein for example were never going to be elected they don't have the votes for that um, it was literally a two party system um, and that would be obviously you vote for Hillary or you vote for Trump so I do believe that this election itself while it might have been an interesting one I think it was more election on who you don't want as a president um, and that's what a lot of people were thinking about is not which is the best candidate for presidency but which is the candidate that I don't want for presidency and I think that's what sort of ruled this election and it was very interesting to see that more for the first time than any other time in history um, it did happen a little bit with Bush uh, when he was running, the people were so voting against him because they didn't want him as president. Um, but yeah, it was definitely interesting for the whole election campaign to be based around that sort of feeling or that sort of view. Regardless of who you voted for now, guys, obviously Donald Trump is the new president. Um, obviously, I'd like to extend my congratulations to the American people. Um, Obviously, congratulations on everybody who did take the time today to vote. Um, it is obviously, uh, it is something that you all have your right to do. And there were a lot of other options out there for voting. It wasn't just who you were voting on for a president. Uh, there were a lot of other options or a lot of other important events or, or topics that were also being voted on. So, while it was obviously a definitely interesting race, um, thank God that is over, and now we can obviously go through and, and have a look at Clinton's foundation. Just on that too, uh, obviously the FBI has come out now and announced that they are investigating the Clinton Foundation, uh, and obviously running a fine teeth comb through that. Um, so the trouble for Hillary Clinton is far from over, guys. She is literally, this is just the tip of her troubles what happens to her over the next three, six months, God knows. Um, but also Trump did state that when he was running for president that he would also go through and arrest her or, or investigate her at the very least regarding her email system. Um, so I believe that Hillary Clinton is going to be a very, very busy lady. Um, maybe busy packing her bags and flying to Saudi Arabia. Who knows? But guys, let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. Are you glad this president election is over? 
Um, is it a case of back to business as usual now? Uh, let me know what your thoughts are in the comment section below. If you're new to the channel, welcome and subscribe. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And apart from that, I will see you in our next video. Have a great day and enjoy.